I'm Dana from Nickelodeon's Danger Force, and it's time to buckle up and get ready for a special look inside the new movie, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Quick little stretch, and here we go. This is Thrills and Quills. I am so excited to take a look inside the making of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And I've got just the thing to get this adventure started. But wait, if you didn't see the first one, hard to imagine, but possible, you might need to get caught up. And there's only one person who can tell the story fast enough. Me. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. So, in the first movie, we find Sonic on his home planet. Where that is, we're not exactly sure, but it wasn't safe, and his guardian, Longclaw, she's an owl, by the way, sends him to Earth with a bag of rings that allows him to jump through portals to pretty much anywhere. It's like flying first class without waiting in line. He ends up in Green Hills, Montana, and he flies under the radar until he zaps the electric grid and ruffles the mustache of one Dr. Robotnik, a mad scientist and an evil genius who will stop at nothing to get Sonic's power. His furry blue butt is saved by Tom the Donut Lord, and his wife is Maddie the Prince Lady. Tom and Sonic go on an epic road trip where we'll Robot that catches up and is all like, I got you now! Sonic is like, no way! I'm protecting my friends! Then finally, face off in an epic high-speed showdown, spoiler alert, Sonic wins and gets the family he always wanted, and Dr. Robotnik hands up banished on the mushroom planet. Until, well, right now. Whew! I did it! <laughs> A new record! While I catch my breath, <laughs> let's take a look at the making of this new movie. Okay, let's do this. In this movie, Sonic is back to stop Robotnik. People connected with Sonic in such a great way on the first film, so I'm very excited to go on a second Sonic adventure. It's so fun to dive into the mythology and to give the fans more of what they want. He's back! Papa's got a brand new stash. Ha! The bigger the ego, the bigger the mustache. <laughs> We have some new characters. We have Tails. Hope I'm not too late. We also have the ultimate match for Sonic. You're no match for me. I can't wait to show the fans the Knuckles character. There's more action and more mischief. I was really excited. Never thought in a million years that I'd be a part of the Sonic world. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Look at that. These portals can take you anywhere. Like this one that will take us around the world as we get a closer look into all the locations in Sonic's giant new adventure. Swish. The second movie, it just feels epic. Sonic 2 is a big globe-trotting adventure movie. That sounds big. If you look at our movie, it's like we open on a mushroom planet. We've got this amazing snowboard sequence off in the mountains with Sonic and Knuckles going at it downhill. Oh, great, the Winter Soldier. We cut to Hawaii, where we are in the middle of this gorgeous wedding. Maddie and I are off to Hawaii. Maddie and Tom are going to her sister's wedding. There is snow in Hawaii. Snow, my god. I'm sweating from the waist up and then freezing from the waist down because I'm standing on snow. Not only is there gonna be big, giant action, but we're gonna do what we always do in a Sonic franchise, which is joke our way through that. For a guy named Knuckles, you are really bad at punching. I love Hawaii and snow, and I really love snow in Hawaii. There's so many things to explore in this new movie. I just can't decide where to go next. Oh, I've got an idea. We'll flip for it. Tails. Sounds good to me. Tails is the best sidekick ever. I just hope we're not too late. Oh, Lord, there are two of them now. He's called Tails because he has two magnificent tails. He has the ability to fly with his tails. We're flying. That sly little fox. He's an inventor. He makes these gadgets. He's very smart. I pinpointed the coordinates. It's right up ahead. It is an honor to finally meet you, Sonic. Tails looks up to Sonic the way Sonic looked up to the Donut Lord. As soon as Tails shows up, people cheer. I've got an idea. Do you trust me? That little fox is in some crazy stuff. <laughs> Hang on! We could all 
use the help of a good sidekick. But some people around here are more likely to give you a side punch. Knuckles is introduced by Robotnik as Robotnik's friend. Meet Knuckles. Ah! He's a character that is a warrior and this incredibly intense guy. Sonic has never met somebody who can stop him. Knuckles is the ultimate match for Sonic. Do I look like I need your power? He doesn't understand humor. You mock me with your weak jokes. This understands brute force. <laughs> Let's do this. Whoa, Knuckles is intense, and he's just a part of the danger. Will speed beat strength? Will the science of a mad genius destroy the brilliance of teamwork? I have no idea. Time to turn to someone with most of the answers. Oh, you must be the scientist? Hi, yeah. I'm Dr. Hayden Burgoyne, and I have a PhD in rocket science, and I'm here to teach you about the science of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> well, Sonic's got a pretty unique name, but what's that got to do with being fast? Just like waves in the ocean, sound is created by waves in the air, only they move at 761.2 miles per hour. That's 10 times faster than you drive on the freeway. When someone like Sonic can run that fast, his noise piles on top, creating a tidal wave of sound. And this is what we call a sonic boom. Kaplooey. Well, I've never seen a fox fly before. How does Tails do it? Good question. Just like a helicopter, actually. Uh, did your butt just turn into a helicopter? And you can think of it like a really strong fan. The faster he spins his propeller tails, the more air he pushes and the more the air pushes right back. If he spins it really, really fast, it'll lift him right off the ground. That's right! Whoa, that's crazy. What about that Knuckles guy? It's pretty scary how strong are those punches he throws. Well, to put his fist through two inches of solid wood, he would have to punch with more than 10,000 pounds of force. That's like an elephant sitting on you or the bite of a T-Rex. And when someone punches that hard, you definitely want to stay out of their way. Stand still and die! <laughs> All right, well, I've got to head off. Whoa, is that an Einstein Rosenbridge? <laughs> Amazing. Our next guests don't need any introductions. They're literally out of this world. Say hello to Sonic the Hedgehog and his new buddy Tails. How does it feel to be back, Sonic, with a brand new movie? Please, I'm going by Blue Justice now. Blue Justice! Trademark pending. And this is Tails. He's a double threat. Fluffy and adorable. I'm so nervous, Sonic. I've never been on camera before. You're doing great, buddy. Show him what you can do. Pretty cool, right? How is this film different from the first one? There's more action, more adventure. And since I have an agent now, there are perks. Contractual chili dog breaks. And I'm in it! And there's a new character in this movie, Knuckles. What's he like? Well, he plays an echidna warrior sent to destroy me at any cost. Well, we have him here in studio today. Knuckles, do you want to say anything? I do not. Ugh. How are you enjoying your visit to Earth? Your society is full of soft and undisciplined weaklings. However, I do enjoy the planet's grapes. Well, okay. I know you have to speed off to your next adventure. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Wow. Looks like I've only got one ring left. I wonder where it'll take us. Only one way to find out. This look good. Oh, great. The Winter Soldier. For a guy named Knuckles, you are really bad at punching. You're no match for me. I have been training for this my entire life. And I have no training at all. Yet here I am ahead of you. That's gotta be embarrassing. I guess that's it. Thanks for joining me. Maybe we'll take another adventure someday. Or maybe... It'll be today. <laughs>